students had the choice of designing uh, controllers for a what we call a cart, which is basically a four-wheel vehicle that can move on the ground. And they could either make it a design that would balance a pendulum vertically, an inverted pendulum problem, or they could design a cart to track a reflective surface, like a white piece of cardboard. We had to choose between a pendulum and a duck car and we thought it would be really cool to make something like the Google cars that are coming out so relevant to technology today. There are two components really to the task. One was to characterize the uh, dynamics of the vehicles and represent them mathematically and from that design the controller or the what we could call the intelligence that is behind making these things work, either the pendulum or the uh, tracking. Just these, this section, this two inch section is what basically makes the automation in the system. Yeah. So when uh, we uh, evaluated all the cars individually, the next thing we did was to put them all in a row and see how the whole row of cars behaves. To create a system that, that is self-correcting, that's just very, very interesting to me. It doesn't seem like something that most people think is, that's out of reach maybe, but you know, take this course, you can definitely do something like that.